guys, welcome back to Rome Total War, where we are continuing our Julii Let's Play. Um, and we had the most brutal couple of battles on this bridge last episode. Absolutely brutal, as well as pushing back the Egyptians here in Alexandria. Now, we are continuing to push. We're going to take Memphis, hopefully this turn, and then maybe Palmyra. It just depends on what happens with their units. If they send an army out to fight us, there's not much we can really do. They've got a lot of chariots around as well. So, yeah, you need to be kind of wary of them. They do do a lot of damage. So every single army's got, a, like, a unit of chariots, which is really annoying. At your um, service. But yeah. Uh, Jerusalem's got a reasonably large army as well. Once we've taken these three cities, they're all large cities. We should be able to just recruit a new Praetorian army, Marian Reforms army. So that should be good. Um, in Hatra, let's keep on doing that. Right, we need to sort out the construction first before we do anything. So Ariminium. Hmm. What do we want to do here? Probably get the Hippodrome, honestly, so we can get Legion and Cavalry. I know we're getting the Hippodrome like everywhere. I suggest that's fine. So, Patavium, you now have the Hippodrome. Let's get the Armourer just for speed, so that we don't need to send these guys to Eretium and then retrain them. And let's start getting some Legionary Cavalry, if we can. Four of those. Um, Carolus, yep, you keep going, that's fine. Sparta, yep, you upgrade. Um, Carthage. Hmm, Carthage, what do we want to do? Do we want to go for Legion Cavalry, or do we want to go for Urban Cohorts? Hmm, I mean, we can get Legionary Cohorts... We can get Praetor uh, Legionary Cavalry straight away if we go for this, whereas this will be 11 turns before we can get Urban Cohorts. So I think we go for that. Um, I mean, honestly, let's go for the Great Forum and then the ar Armourer. Oh no, let's go for the, the first Armourer. There we are. That's better because we don't. We're getting uh, Roman cavalry from here, so we're just going to use them. I mean, we're against Namidia. Namidia should not be able to put up a fight, honestly, against us. Hopefully, anyway. Right, let's get that to make everyone happy. Kaidonia, yeah, you're just building everything, and then roads. Hmm, what do we want to do here? Do that just to keep everyone happy, and then we'll do that. I think. Let's just check that we are building everywhere that we can. Basilia, I doubt we can build there yet. What's happened to Pergamum? Yeah, Squalor. They, hopefully they won't riot this turn. If they do, we'll have to recruit a few peasants. All of these are just trash uh, settlements in the north. That's why we didn't go after the north to start with, because this, these settlements are just trash. Right, can we get past these guys? Doesn't look like it. Guess we're gonna have to. Uh, right here, we've got two victors. Is this Herius Victor? He was known as Herius the Great before, but now he's known as Herius Victor. So we've got two victors, which is awesome because it makes our popularity with the people even better. Right then, where do we want to go for first? Siege battles are not the most fun, but I guess Memphis because it's. Yeah, they've got no chariots here. So, do we have any archers in this army? No, we don't. We've got uh, Praetorians which can, which can do Testudo, though. I mean, we've got these Bedouin archers, but they're trash. Let's go for it. I'm tempted to just mass, mass the troops in there and smash them rather than wait for ages, but I suppose we should be patient. We'll probably, you know, spread the spread the old troops around. Let's hear what he has to say, though. Day has dawned. This will be a bloody one, come what may. The Pharaoh has sent his servants against us. Do not fear them, for they will be cut down by us, just like other men. They think their walls are enough to stop us. They should think again. We outnumber them by a large margin. But this may drive them to foolhardy defiance. Be careful. Our brave horsemen must wait to do their work until a breach has been opened in the enemy defenses. Now, take up the sword, string your bow, look to your arms and armor. Now comes the hour when we test Roman courage! 
cool. I think that's it. Yep. Was well, as short as short and sweet. Right. Um Where's the quickest way? Oh my god, look at this. That is cool. I like the fact that you can see the buildings on this. Like they're definitely gonna have troops set up here. And uh, like how quickly can you get to the the uh, town square. I mean, you can come this, I suppose, this way and then through. So we'll send a few guys here and then this way through there. Yeah, they, okay. We'll we'll, uh, we'll spread everyone around. We've got a load of siege towers. Hmm. There, their towers are going to shoot us a lot. Hey, I wish these guys could do Testudo while they were doing the siege tower. Drop drop that. You can do testudo and then do it. No. Okay, you do testudo to start with. Battering ram. We will have a token force out this way. Just to really f just as a faint force, I suppose. I have some cavalry here. And these Bedouins and these Arab cavalry. So that's gonna be one group. I will maybe have one general's bodyguard here just in case an opportunity arises. There we are. And then the main thrust of the army will be round this side. So Praetorians. I want the Praetorians to, to come down here so Praetorians can stay there. Uh, we'll use Hastati on the walls here. We'll use Principes siege tower there. And we'll use another Principes maybe over here. And then this Hastati on this siege tower. With these Principes on the on the old bladders. Or did I just move those Principes from there? Oh no, that's fine. Uh, Praetorians, and then you guys, you'll be ready to come through the gates once we once we seize the gates. So you go there. Wish the guys with the ladders could run. Which they can't. <laughs> you go there. Starty, come up that way. Then you go here. Now, this battering ram, I'm sure this battering ram is going to get shot to pieces, but we'll try to use it anyway. Now, Bedouins, you go forward because you're archers. We can bring the Testudo forward, honestly, because it shouldn't get shot up too much. And we'll bring the cavalry a little bit forward where they're not going to get shot. Hmm. Cool. Now, where are all their troops? Surprised? Okay, they've got one Pharaoh's Guards on the wall. They will fight to the death, so I don't really want to have to deal with them too much. Uh, the bowmen aren't on the wall, which is good. Now, if we had some bowmen, that would be so helpful. There's Pharaoh's bowmen there. Um... And yeah, Pharaoh's guard in the center. Cool. Which one's their general? It's probably the cavalry unit, right? Or is it? That's Bowman. I'm, I'm surprised they're not firing yet. What are these? Uh, Pharaoh's guard. Who have we got to fight them? Princapes. I mean, they're rubbish on walls, though. That's the one good thing. Now the real fight begins. Are these firing at us or what? Like we need to go. So this uh, this Astarte will probably run around and take all the towers. Actually, we don't need to do that. Soldiers have reached the walls with ladders. Actually, this one one should do up to there, and then we'll march up a few of our troops back here. How's the battering ram doing? Oh, battering ram's gone. Cool. So all this unit, you need to run around to here. And you run across to here as well. Okay, we'll get the Praetorians up on the walls if we can. Yeah, cool. They're marching up here, that's good. The towers didn't really do too much there. Yeah, anyway. But we still need to capture them. Capture them all. So, let's run around with these Astarte. Which way? 
think we go this way. Actually, we could go through this way and take the gates and leave these guys here to come through the gates because they won't expect that. It's the AI as well. So let's do that. They're going to sprint around, take all these towers. Once these guys are on, we'll go attack the Pharaoh's guards. The walls are taken. These are the uh, Princapes. What do we want to do with these guys? Um, probably just run through here. You, you Princapes are going to fight the Pharaoh's guard from the other side. And siege towers just take so long. That's the one issue with them. They're fine. They just take ages. Okay, Praetorians, I want you on the walls. So can you get up, please? Don't need to be in Testudo anymore. Run, please. <laughs> ladders? Please? Okay, yeah, use the ladders. Good, good, good. They might want to put one of these guys on the walls. They're bowmen. They're going to fire at us. I'm not really bothered by that, though. It's so slow. Come on. So we're taking that tower. Good. Uh, right, you guys want you to run to here, if you can. Also, all of you guys will put you on fire at will, because there's not many sort of units in here that are not worth attacking. Not worth firing at. They've got a lot of elite units. I'm hoping this gateway will become ours, because we will just be able to go and shred these guys. This gateway ours yet? I mean, I guess not. How much do we need to maybe come down here? Will that make the gateway ours? You just all walk forwards. The gateway is ours now. So you guys come and attack. You guys come through here. Everyone else. Okay, Praetorians. Let's go kill this Pharaoh's guard. You, let's kill them. You two, let's go kill them. This Astarte can just start marching on the main gate once we're, once we're done. Okay, these guys are absolutely going to shred the archers probably. You guys can come down. Hoping our general doesn't get killed here, but he is dispensable. Is this gateway ours yet? No, not quite. They shouldn't be having too much of a problem against these Pharaoh's Guard. Although, they are getting shot. Hmm. Is that gateway ours yet? Yeah, cool. Right. You guys. Bowman and Desert Axemen should not be an issue. Right, you guys. Um, can you kill this last Pharaoh's Bowman, please? Desert Cavalry. Let's go kill them. Alright, let's charge. The only thing we need to worry about is that last Pharaoh's Guard unit. I think we should be able to wrap this up right now, to be honest. They're all trying to run away. They're going to fight to the death, or what? No, they say they're fleeing, but yeah, they're fighting to the death. Just charge them, charge them from the back. I think the cavalry can do the rest of the job here, honestly. You guys charge them. Yeah, they are going to be able to like mop up everything, really. It's that, that's just desert cavalry, isn't it? I was going to say, if that's Sir General's bodyguard, we might actually have a the enemy problem, general is but it's not. The enemy general is slain. And now his men fear us. It is time right, to quick. press the attack. Get charging these guys. Now the Pharaoh's bowmen aren't terrible in melee, but get the Hastati into the desert axemen. Alright, this cavalry contingent. Let's see whether we can go kill these desert axemen. And you guys. We'll bring around here. You, Astarte, if you can, come down this way. 
Right, Praetorians. Yeah, you're still there. Looks like we killed all these guys. Right, you guys get down here. I don't think you're going to be needed, though. That's the one thing. Let's have a look. Okay. Yeah, we should. it should be a couple of charges in the back. The problem is we want them off the... Uh, off the middle, really. Are you not going to fire? I just fire at these guys, please. Right, everyone, everyone come down here if you can. Right, we're going to have to kill all these Pharaoh's guards to make it, uh, to end it because they're on the town square. The town square is actually huge here. Right, they can keep on ch chasing us if they want. All of you charge, actually. Charge them from the back. They might turn around and then we'll charge with these guys. Okay, the phalanx formation's getting screwed up. They don't. They're still trying to march forwards. Get away. <laughs> Get away. There is not many of them left, though. Like they're, they're all turned around. Shh, just cavalry spam them to death. <laughs> Look at this. Let me in, let me in. I want to kill them. Someone gains some experience. Oh, stop firing, actually, you. Run away. Oh, well, that was alright. It just takes so long for the siege battles. Yeah, we lost a hundred. I wonder who we lost. It must be this Astarte unit that we lost a few on. Casualty sustain. Yeah, one Equite has actually lost a lot. Then that Princapes and Astarte. That's fine. They should. Uh, a lot of them should recover. Victory! Right, that's another large city we've taken off them. We need to exterminate these. Uh, we can't get any cavalry here, it looks like. Do you know what? I really want some archers. But first we need someone to wait in the city. Um, and first things first in terms of building. Oh, execution square, that's amazing for that law. Because the corruption out here will be brutal. Yeah, 700 lost to corruption. If we didn't have that execution square, it would be a lot more. Um, awesome temple of Horus. That has 20% lore as well, so I bet the corruption just gone off the load. Yeah, 200. But we need our own. We need Jupiter in here. What are we building there? We're building the Hippodrome there. That's fine then. We like we can get all our archers and infantry from Memphis. And then we can get cavalry from Alexandria. Okay, Nero Rex is an Egyptian turncoat. That's 100% what we need. Great Pyramid increases the loyalty of Egyptians. That's good. That should keep everyone happy. Wonder, yeah, 30% there. Wow. Oh my days, look at that corruption. It's like basically all the money is going to corruption. So we need more law out in these provinces. 100%. Right, we've taken Memphis. Now it's time to take Tarsus, I think. We've got plenty of archers here, so we should use them to full extent. They don't have any archers, really. I want to kill all their scythe chariots because they're brutal. Although, if they run amok... Yeah, let's let's try and make them run amok. That's what we're going to try and do there. Um, have we got siege equipment here yet? No, we don't. So, Elysia, what are we recruiting? Yeah, we're recruiting like a, a mini army, I think. So, I still don't know what we want to do with this army. I suppose we'll see once we've taken Thebes... Because we're basically in a position where we are able to recruit a full another army over here reasonably quickly once we get three. Oh, this guy. This guy might attack. If this guy wants to attack us at Memphis, that's amazing. We'll just use the walls and beat them back. Hmm, this Egyptian guy is, is wanting to uh, get in on the action, I think. Yeah. That's fine. Roman cavalry we're recruiting there. We could recruit some legionary cohorts. Don't think we need to. It's going to take them too long to get there anyway. Let's go. Yeah, let's just 
recruit a load of cavalry. They're, they're the best, aren't they? So, right, this is small walls. Should be able to use the. Uh, oh, they only got 18 of the side chariots, and the defense is terrible. They do have four hit points though. Look at all this experience some of these guys have. They got zero armor though, so our archers should really, really be able to take these down. Zero armor on those guys. What units do the Seleucids have that have any armor then? Because look at this. Is this a glitch? I was going to say, if that general's armored bodyguard had zero armor, that would be... Surely that's a glitch. <laughs> the glorious death is his who for his country falls. Let's see, let's listen to the general's speech again, because it, it should tell us whether this is our last settlement or not. Also, we need to have a look at the Egyptians' military strength after all those battles. Men! We face adversity, a band of brothers dedicated to the warrior's code of strength and victory. But we will never know defeat while we stand together. This day we add another triumph to the history of our people. We will be honored as men. There stands the army of the Seleucid king, proud and confident to a man. But they die like anyone else, so do not fear them. This is the end of the road. This is the last battle. Cool. The enemy have nowhere left to run. They must hold us here, or like so many ghosts, vanish away utterly. So let us take up our arms one last time, sharpen the sword, and make ready. This will be the day of their final, lasting defeat. Is that it? They have been nope. lulled into a false sense of security by a few feet of defensive wall, as if that will protect them. On this field, we have the benefit of greater numbers. It is one we would do well not to squander. I have never yet lost a fight against these men. I have no intention of starting today. So together, we will gain another victory. When I set my heart on an attack, I do so knowing that I will win. That my men will win. That victory is within reach. All we need to do is stretch out and grasp the foe firmly by the throat. What we do today, we do as servants of the gods. Ask them for courage and strength. Honor them in your hearts and they will aid us all. Look to your weapons, but also look to the heavens and raise a mighty shout in praise of the gods. Now, to battle! Cool, I think that's it, surely. That was a long one. Last one was short and sweet. This one, pretty long, but that's fine. Um, so I think what we're going to do is get these three guys knocking down the gates. Um, and we'll get these two over here. So, yeah, one guy on the gate here. And one person just to vault the wall. We'll send all our cavalry over this one side that will be able to go and charge in. And then we'll send... Do we have more? We have more rams, Jesus. I mean, we'll stick them over there, but we'll leave them, like, leave them be. Send the Sicilian pirates in first. All these guys should be on fire at will. Same with the Velites. Yep, they are. Cool. Send the Sicilian pirates in first. So you guys come here. Starty there. Um, and we're just going to whittle them down with our archers if we can. So yeah. The archers should be able to fire at all those guys. So if we can move uh, forward with them. Problem is the Roman archers have the worst range. It's actually embarrassing. What are these? Velites. You go there then. Now over here. Same thing, but we're going to charge in with our cavalry. Well, hmm. Probably the units first, and then. I mean, they've only got peasants in the city center, so. That'd be nice to be able to sandwich them, honestly. That armored bodyguard needs to be killed as well. Okay, so it looks like only the Sicilians can fire right now. God, those Roman archers, they have literally horrendous range. Like, they can't they can't hit anything. Who are the, were the Sicilians firing at? 
The militia cavalry are missile cavalry, so we want to be wary of that. But where are the chariots? Where are they? What? I'm so confused. Unless they're... Ah, oh, they're over here. Uh, that's okay. There's not many of them. There's only 18 of them. They are brutally effective in attack, but I'm sure we'll be able to deal with them. Our soldiers have reached the gates with a... Yeah, everyone's able to kind of fire now. Well, walls. sort of. Now they must away Their range through. is so bad, though. That's the problem. Once we can get in here and start firing at the general's bodyguard, that will be so helpful. Is that the blacksmith that's uh, producing all that smoke? Yeah, it is. Cool. Our soldiers are at the walls. Yeah, keep firing. We've not through. used much ammunition yet, so this militia hoplite should get savaged. Surprised they're not falling quicker than that, honestly, because they have no armor and they get shot in the back or the side. Okay, they're going to retreat into this little square thing, which actually would be good for us. So keep doing that. Just speed it up. Our soldiers have done their work well. Siege battles in this game are just nowhere near as fun as the uh, open field battles, but... Okay, yeah, just kill these guys. You guys get in if you can. Well, we're going to go with the Sicilian pirates first. Shock troops, probably best. Our soldiers have captured the walls. You go the fire at these guys. Capture this place. I just don't want to bait. Okay. Do that. Ooh. Kill those chariots probably first. You guys walk forwards. Are they going to fire at them? Please fire. Okay, a few of the chariots are getting caught up on there. Okay, now that's good. That's really good. Broken. Walls are down. Amazing. You guys come in. You guys go kill those levy pikemen. Velites, let's get firing at the militia hoplites if you can. Where are the Sicilians? Are they in here? Yeah, they are. Good. Brilliant. Uh, and let's bring the archers forward again a bit. These guys, you can come in into here. Right, all this cavalry. Let's go chase down these peasants. What have we got here? Militia cavalry, let's get into them. All that cavalry. I'm going to just charge the cavalry straight through. There isn't. The, there's the scythe chariots, but I, I want to just deal with them. Okay, these guys are broken again. These guys are broken. Let's kill the Peltists. And kill these guys if we can. Right. All you archers. Oh, 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 oh. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Right, once this guy gets close, we'll shoot him with the archers. Fire at that guy. Well, what are you doing here? Get rid of the ram. You don't need the ram anymore. Uh, right, everyone here. Let's go kill the chariots. If we can. Where's this? Is this the, uh, yeah, that's the general. Right, Sicilians, go there. Really need to whittle these guys down. You guys, I want you to just fire as many peeler into them as possible. So, don't charge, just fire your peeler. Broken those, I mean, those Velites, I thought they were Prickabays, honestly. Stay there. Alright, this is two units, they should be strong enough to survive. They are shaken, though. Hmm. Please just fire at these, uh, these guys. What are these units doing? Come on. Let's get through. What are you doing? Right, you go and try and help 
these guys. They're doing quite well, honestly. They've whittled them down more than half. You, Hastati, come and help. These peasants should be completely shredded very soon. So if the general runs away, we'll kill him. And anyway, it doesn't matter about that because he's going to die whether, uh, if we take this building anyway, and uh, take the city anyway. So. This will surely make his followers waver. You guys charge these guys, and then I think it's just the peasants, honestly. Kill these peasants. Watch my general get killed by this singular peasant now. Right, end the battle. Oh, I killed too many. That's probably their general's bodyguard, honestly. But yeah, we need to take Antioch because we need a recruiting hub up the north and we don't have one. Let's exterminate the population. Pair that. Uh, Temple of Dionysus doesn't really matter. Get Jupiter. Uh, and yeah, we just don't have any recruiting hub up here. Need a spy back over there, honestly. Yes. Once, once uh, this guy can move, so we can see. Cool. So Seleucids are gone. Let's have a look at the uh, the rankings. Top five. Egypt still in the top five. Let's look at the military. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at that ranking that's happened since we've absolutely just demolished those three armies at the river. And then that other army at Memphis. And the army that was sieging down Alexandria. So, yeah, that's good. You come up here. I'm sure they're going to lay siege to us now. But that's fine. How far away are we from a full army over here? We've got two on that side, two over here. We've got five archers. We only need four. have that uh, cavalry, but we're going to be getting better cavalry now. Which is more important. Um, so, we're still a ways off. And then over in Carthage, two... We've got all the cavalry we need now. Actually, no. Let's keep on going with that cavalry. So we've got, uh, let's get six, and then we'll have four, so that's ten. Then we only need ten infantry units. It's going to be a while before we can get them, though. Hmm. Could just get some auxilia. I know they're trash, but... Might be worth it. Just to get this army up and running quicker. How are we doing over here? We're still recruiting the ships. Yeah, once we've recruited all the ships, we'll uh, put them all together. I'm hoping... The problem with admirals is that sometimes if you've got big enough uh, temples, like this Jupiter, they might all have, like... They might all be admirals, which would be terrible because we'd have, like, five separate navies. Um, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping we don't. How are we looking over here? Fine. Tarsus, another large town, so not brilliant. We just need to get into the heartland of Egypt. They can still recruit their good units because of their large sort of cities that they still have. But yeah. So let's end the turn, see what happens. They just killed some rebels for us. Nice. That's nice of you. Thank you. Oh, Armenia. Blockade Port Petra. Oh, I'm not. I'm not going to do that, am I? <laughs> Armenia, what are you doing? What? Are you, why have you done this to us? I mean, it's still a captain. I don't want to deal with them horse archers. If there's only one unit of horse archers, should be okay. Should be able to deal with it. If it's not, we're kind of screwed. Uh, can we recruit? Like how? Hmm. Vibius can come up. If we recruit more cavalry, we've got at least one turn before they attack us because they won't build siege equipment on this turn, no. So if we get a couple more cavalry and we, we march up, we should be able to defeat that. Now that means that's another um, front opened up, which isn't ideal. What can we recruit at Sinope? Okay, I think we should recruit another legion here then. We're going to have legions all over the place. They're still making positive money. Right, Palmer grows? Awesome, that's really good. Don't need those roads. They don't add anything here. Thermon expands. That's also great. Uh, Thapsus. Cool. We can uh, recruit some better units then when, uh, when that's done. 
Now we Martius. Oh my god, yes. We're getting some of the Roman Roman towns up in the Gallic area, which is amazing. Even more popularity with the masses. Here yeah, we got full. The plebeians think you are Romulus reborn. Well, that's because we are. Even your few enemies speak only in praise of your manifest perfection in public. They dare not anger the mob. Yeah, good. Oh, they absolutely hate the Scipii. That's because the Scipii haven't done anything. Also, the Senate doesn't really like anyone. So they should just give me the uh, keys to uh, Rome, I think. All right, building. Suggestica, fine. Thermon, yeah, that's upgrading. Sardis, yep, it's fine. Hatra. I mean, honestly, Hatra might fall. <laughs> so... Let's keep on going with military stuff, though, so we can improve uh, our military capabilities around this area. Especially if Blumin, uh, what you call him, decides to attack us. Parthia. What are we recruiting? We're recruiting archers here. Honestly, I think that's a good call. We could, we should probably split this in two. Um, Tarsus. Yep. Getting Auxilia. That's fine. Can we march on... Antioch, probably. I want to see what this army does though first. We should be able to destroy that army with our cavalry, really. Right, so we've got probably six infantry units now. Yes, yeah, six. We haven't got a legionary cavalry yet. We have got all this Roman cavalry. I was going to send that Roman cavalry up to Elysia. Yeah, let's do that. Once that this one's complete, is it one turn left? Yeah, we'll do that. That's fine. Okay guys, well thank you very much for watching, we'll do the rest of the battles hopefully next turn, so we need to take this fort off Gaul, although it only has two turns left, we could just starve them out, I mean, is there any need though, they do have two um, body, two, uh, they got two family members there, hmm, I mean this is their last town so it shouldn't matter if we lose a load of troops fighting that. We have the two. We can just fire our arrows at them, honestly. Yeah, we've got a lot of cavalry now. I have ten of that. We just need, well, not ten infantry, like nine or eight infantry, because the rest will be two bodyguards. Obviously, Manius is going to be too old by then, um, so we need to adopt someone over here, probably. And we're building the armory so they get armoured. Over here, we are getting archers and then Praetorians. Yeah, let's just keep going with Praetorians. We should split this. Uh, if, if we get enough troops, we should split these two armies in half. Hmm, could get more Praetorians. I think we want archers, though. Especially against the chariots. It's just a good way of, of uh, bringing them down. Are they going to go and sit in Thebes? That would be kind of funny if they do that, because we'll just go and starve them out. And wait until we've got another legion ready to go. Yes, master. Moving. Right, spies. Let's At move them around. Moving. Okay, there's no one in really in Antioch. Sir. Lentilus Victor, you Attack. move up Besieging with your massive Solomon. cavalry army. Under siege, sir. Um, keep bringing the auxilia down. Yeah, there we are. I think we'll get attacked there next turn. How long's that got? Six turns though. Oof. If they attack us, that should be really good, actually. We'll be able to get a matter out going, probably. Right, cool. So thank you very much, guys, for watching once again. If you enjoyed, please do uh, consider giving me a subscribe or a like and comment down below what your favourite, most nostalgic Total War game is and which one you like to play the most. So thank you very much, guys, and hopefully I'll see you again on the next video.